Welcome, our friends. Not just mine, yours too. So <laughs> all of our friends. Hello, friends. To another watch with Ween and Ray. Woo! Yes, I'm so excited. This is I am so, too. This is good. This is good. This is really We're, good. We needed a win. We got a win in our quarter. I was yes, we excited. did. <laughs> so excited. Very um, happy. Very, very excited. Um, we're excited to talk about this too. I don't think I've laughed that that much in a movie in a while. Yeah, uh, I, I it was. I dare say I laughed. I laughed more than I did when we saw Cocaine Bear. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, percent. Um, and there's still things that I know we missed going around that first time. So I'm very yeah. excited to watch it again. Um, yeah. But for all of you out there who have no idea what the fuck we're talking about, we're talking about The Blackening from 2023. Yay! Oh, God, guys, this movie was fucking phenomenal. It was awesome. Um, I actually yeah. have the Rotten Tomatoes on it. Um, Perfect! I, would, um, I know what it is, but yeah, go for it. Yeah, one hour, 36 minute running time. So an hour and a half of your life. Um, you will not regret it. No. No. Um, the critic score is 86% and audience score is 85. Like that's pretty good pretty and pretty close. So it's and awesome. Honestly, I mean, I would, I would actually pump it up a couple, pump it up. I would actually pump it up a couple more degrees on that for me, like my own yeah, enjoyment with same. this movie. It was, it was hysterical. I had a great time. I have a hard time with comedies. I don't know if anybody else does, but I know like, I mean, evidenced by the show, I have a hard time <laughs> with comedies. Like, yeah it depends on the comedy i guess i think it depends on what style of comedy it is i think i don't know it depends on the style yeah yeah i because i keep in my mind going back to society how i thought that was fucking hysterical I, even though it was so fucking stupid like but not as campy <laughs> not like but i didn't like toxic avenger but i like dead alive i don't know i'm a fucking bad i'm a i am an enigma not enigma wrapped in a hurricane Touched by a tornado. So there you go. Touched by an angel. No. <laughs> or something. <laughs> this is David Boreanaz as angel. What? Thank you. Sign me up. I'll, I'll sign up for that. Sure. Yeah. I don't, yeah. As long he's as I'm hot. not in a relationship with him because he's not good at those. What? What? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So I was looking to my wife a lot of times. There you go. He's pretty. I don't care. I... Anyhow. I mean, I do care. I care that he doesn't cheat on his wife. Also, new merch, guys. New fucking merch. New merch. Woo! It's a tank. I'm. I well, you can get it whatever style you want it. But I got it in like weird, uh, gym bro. Like it's so big that they sleep. Yeah. Like the yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out, bitch. Is that on Threadless? It's on a Threadless right now. That's where I bought it. Actually, yeah. So, cool. I'll have to buy it. Yeah, and you can get it in. There's only a certain number of colors because obviously these are not going to show up in certain. Right, I mean, I was because the white, dark black, or whatever. gray, blah blah blah. Yeah, but uh, I was pretty excited about it because then I was playing around with this little font. You can't really see, but I, I like the font, but I can't see what the image is. Oh, it is! It is a skull, baby. Oh, I see Scully. There we go. Yeah, I like it. Jack like Skellington. Mm-hmm. So yeah, getting back to this movie that we watched. Yay. Um, also, this movie is full of goddamn beautiful people. Just, oh my, oh, I mean, top to everyone, fucking bottom. Everyone. Everyone's gorgeous. Everyone is gorgeous. I mean, we'll get to it, but holy, holy Kenobi. Yeah, Anyhow, everyone's pretty. Everyone's yeah. pretty to look at. <laughs> and just fucking bringing it. All of them are bringing it. Um, yeah. Except for Clifton, but I bet you Clifton in real life is good looking. I bet. I bet. I was gonna say without you know the glasses and the and the lip thing that he was doing, I think that he's probably pretty handsome. Yeah, we'll get to it because we're gonna do a little bit like we're gonna do a little pro and con a little bit what we like, we didn't like, and something yeah. might show up on my didn't like list. So yeah, yeah. FYI, his name is Jermaine Fowler, and FYI, he is attractive. <laughs> Just to let you know, yeah. if you were worried, don't be because he's attractive. Um, it looks let like me he see. was in um, he was born in eighty eight, so he's younger than me. He's four years younger than me. Ouch. Is he? He's not the no. He's not the lead in no because it's like Keith Stanfield. Clifton. Yeah, no, no. I was looking. Uh, he's in. Uh, sorry to bother you, but I'm like he's not the lead. That's like Keith Stanfield, and he's not. Oh, he's, okay. He's got a decent part in. Uh, sorry to bother you. Um, yeah. That's another good movie. You know, no one's seen it. It's delicious. It's I've been wanting to see that, but I haven't. 
And he's also in Judas and the Black Messiah, which I never got a chance to watch. That was one of the ones for up for um Best Picture, and I didn't I didn't yeah. watch that one. I have a friend who was an extra in that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And I still have to see it. <laughs> okay. There's lots I'm of I'm a bad friend. There. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm a bad friend. I need to watch it. Um, um this was fun from the jump, from yeah. the get. This was from the get. So fun. So we start with uh, Morgan and Sean, who is... Uh, Sean is played by Jay Farrow from SNL. And, then, and I think Yvonne or- Orji, I think she's from... Is she not from SNL also? Is she? Let me see. No. Well, at least I don't... Like, motherfuckers, can you like not do this to me? Okay, thank you. Um, No, she is on Velma. Um... I guess they did a Wonder Years spinoff. They she's did on that. Um, oh, I'm thinking she's on the yeah. Black they did Lady. a Wonder Years reboot. She's on the uh, was on the Black Lady sketch show. That's maybe what I was thinking of. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, she's uh, yeah, and it's very much. I mean, we're not going to spoil it, but we'll, I'm going to spoil it a little bit because I think I have to spoil this little tiny bit to talk about it. But again, we're talking the first five minutes. We've got a scream opening. We've got a Drew Barrymore and scream opening here. Yeah, basically, yeah. So you got your your not a movie within a mo- movie, but you got your ending bef- right before the movie starts. Um, and the premise of this movie is pretty much these friends are getting together. These college friends are getting together to celebrate Juneteenth at this cabin in the woods. As and, they do, they do every year, but not in a cabin necessarily. But yes, right. This is the first year that every year they this camera, ca- this cabin. yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> It's a beautiful cabin. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, it's less of a. And one of the characters does say, "Like this ain't a cabin. This is yeah, like a, this is the compound, this is a house. right? Yeah, this is the compound. Um, <laughs> it's like a gorgeous house built of wood. A lot of glass. You know, a lot of glass. The, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very you know it's a well to do family that built this cabin. Yeah, um, I mean, the, one of the but first they're shots, renting it out. Yeah, and one of the first shots we get are is this family, this white family, um, because it's an I would assume an Airbnb. And yeah. it's this picture, this, you know, like a portrait of this, like two very large <laughs> twin sons and then a family behind them. But like, they don't yeah. rest on it too long. So you really can't <clears throat> tell who who's in the picture or what's happening. Right. But just as you're watching it, put that in your back pocket. Let's just say that. Yeah. Just put it in your back pocket. There. Because Morgan then takes that picture and she puts it up. She She's puts like, picture. it's not your weekend. Come <laughs> <laughs> back, like, people. Thank you. <laughs> and, and puts up a picture of their friends. Yeah, yeah and decorated for Juneteenth. Um, yeah. And it's it's so, I just, I got so excited to know that that was what this was about. Because I'm like, yay. I just, it's, I, I think I just, I love the premise of it. I thought yeah. it was awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. And um, so she and and sean who i believe is her husband or at least her boy i think he's her husband but it doesn't really matter they're together and um they're kind of like <laughs> and he goes hey come you know come see what what's this game room and the most racist board game i've ever seen i mean ever ever ever, ever. Seen. it's got a mammy like face thing yeah on. like yeah and it's complete and, blackface and has giant red lips and is yeah it's like I Al mean, Jolson um but like, awful like, when they say like mammy dolls like that's what it looks like yeah yeah like um, awful looking on a, on a on a board game on a board game so I'm trying to think of a board game that's close to that so something like oh god I don't know would ha- would have a in, it, like if you're imagining something that's like a board the board is around it and then this figures in the middle and it's kind of like kind of like truck trouble we have the little pop-up thing, i was thinking that but in too. the center yeah. is a figure and yeah it's got a that the board is around it, it. yeah mm-hmm. and um so there's kind of like what the fuck, fuck is this and of course morgan's <laughs> like oh no i'm gonna play this fucking thing <laughs> right right no we're doing this we're doing this you know if you're gonna leave a piece of racist shit in my fucking house for the weekend we're gonna do this so um she immediately starts to play with it and it's uh Oh, doesn't it immediately calls her a horrible it calls her a horrible name at first, does it not? I'm trying to I remember. can't remember. I don't know. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. But from it, the get, like, it's that from the get. It makes her like it 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 makes her pick a card. Because at that point the light don't the lights go out and they yes. know they have to play. 
Uh, Because the door's also locked, too. Yeah, the doors are locked. Doors are locked, so they cannot get out. So it asks them um, how many, or what is what is a movie that the, where in which the Black character makes it, lives, makes it all the way through the movie. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I was like, how What many? was the, the first horror movie to do it? Oh, and she says Scream 2, which <laughs> unfortunately Omar Epps it's, and Jada Pickett Smith are the first ones to die in that They're movie. They're the first to die, right? Because <laughs> isn't Jada Smith the one, the loud one in the theater? maybe i, I don't i don't remember scream two hot minutes since i've seen scream two anyhow forward they uh sean is they answer incorrectly yeah and sean's immediately killed yeah in like shot in the neck with a crossbow there's like, a lot i mean it's all crossbow in this movie it's all crossbow that's the weapon of choice in this mm-hmm. movie which is really funny mm-hmm. um and morgan tries to leave and she's just she's got that like paranormal activity pulled from like yeah out, you know pulled pull like, back she's or she's clawing at the back. screen like yeah. this and all of a sudden whoosh, yeah right, she's whooshed back into the darkness and then we get the title and this fucking <laughs> baller soundtrack starts oh my god the soundtrack holy, holy shit, shit. Ugh, yeah it's awesome so good so good um and then like the the, the fit friends come and again i don't want to give too much away so i don't want to like but there's like tension between some of the friends because um i was trying to i was trying to figure out what the one kid's name what guy's name was but it's nam is it nambi N- N- nambi um yeah and because the other uh-huh. thing is I, could, I was having a hard time <laughs> hearing just because everyone talked really fast so i was like, trying to catch everyone everybody because i have that with it. oh Any nambi memory? N M A M D I Nandi yeah M D. So in school, Namdi would cheat on Lisa, who is like our lead. Uh, and and fucking gorgeous, right? Like her and why Grace would Myers, you? What is right? wrong with you? What? Excuse <laughs> me, sir. How fucking dare you? How right? Dare you? Right. And um, so there's friends, Lisa, Dwayne love Dwayne. Dwayne Dwayne is uh that's his name in real life uh, Dwayne Perkins, and yeah and he's one of the writers perfect perfect I love yeah. it yeah he, love, sorry that was really loud I'm sure I just read an article out. today I read an article today and I meant to um um send it to you but um I was reading an article about this movie and he, they were interviewing him, Dwayne Perkins, mm-hmm. about this movie and how, you know, he, his original concept of it came up in a sketch group, a sketch comedy group in Chicago that he was in. Mm-hmm. And like, so they kind of like workshopped parts of it, you know, like live oh, okay. with a live audience. And that's kind of what conceptualized the idea. Oh. Um, it's written by Dwayne Perkins and Tracy Oliver, who's another friend of his that's also in this sketch comedy group awesome so, yeah and then it was picked up by the director who also produced it i think uh tim story he's done um oh he produced uh fantastic four 2000 from 2005 apparently uh oh, unfortunately all right that's not good <laughs> barbershop oh um, i love barbershop yeah 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 yeah. oh good yeah shit. he's done a whole lot the of stuff. Shaft, he's done the shaft movie Oh, like, he's done some he did shit. Tom and Jerry movie. That's sad. Yeah, he did Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Ride gotta along. Eat. Everybody's got to eat, man. Yeah. Think like a man. He's done a lot of Kevin Hart um, comedy specials. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fantastic Four. A... One thing that Fantastic Four gave us was Chris Evans. So, amen to that. As... <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> The and then the Chris Evans again. Chris <laughs> Evans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um so yeah, there's Dwayne, um, Namdi, who shows up later, who's actually a friend of theirs, but the ex-boyfriend of Lisa, but he's kind of getting back in and it's weird. Uh Allison, who's fucking phenomenal. Um one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Everybody in this movie is gorgeous. Yes. Every single person. Yeah. Like um, yes. I mean, and yeah. so is X Mayo as Shanika. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Shanika. So funny. I loved so much. I so want her bag. I want her purse. Oh, I want all of her clothes in this movie. Let's I just, know. let's be real. And also her IMDB picture is like fucking perfect. 
Yeah, it is. Because she's just like crazy and loud. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. Um, Shanika and King and their friend Clifton, who's like kind of a nerdy guy. Well, and so King King and Namdi come together. Uh, Dwayne and Lisa and um and what's what uh, what is uh, Allison, Allison. Come, to come, come together Shanika is at this um uh like gas station and getting snacks yeah. and stuff like that and getting some the good shit as she says which is like yeah well, not food farm but it's um oh god like that like really cheap like 4.99 wrap, what wrap chips or something like that oh no oh, the wine wrap chips oh yeah the wine was like the 4.99 like yeah yeah, um, yeah. Can't think of the this name is of the it. Good right cheap now. shit. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, I she's getting wrap, chip, wrap chips. Because I was like, yes, because one of the like little stores around here sells those. They're so good. Do they really? They oh do. my gosh, that's funny. They do. Um, and uh, but she sees Clifton there, and she's kind of like, "What the fuck are you doing here, Clifton?" And he's like, "Well, I wasn't. In- are you invited for the weekend? Because it doesn't sound like like Clifton was like tangentially their friend, but not like part of the main crew." Yeah, yeah. So they're really yeah, tangential as to why he's there yeah so they all eventually make it to the house can't find sean or morgan but they're not like really worried about it. they're like you know probably like they went out to get stuff they'll be back it doesn't it's not very long before shit starts to get real yeah things start to happen like the lights go out randomly mm-hmm. and, like, and what the uh, fuck? <laughs> yeah it's not very long into it where you know we realize that morgan's still alive and then yeah. I would say a good, I don't know, 15 minutes of minutes. like yeah. light plot until we start jumping into it. Like it really wasn't long. No, because um, they start talking about like, so you're talking about um, spades, playing spades. Yeah, they all play spades. There's a, uh, like a l- lengthy like sequence around the table and then they're mm-hmm. all doing Molly, they're all trapping Molly, which is <laughs> And you realize that, t- that well, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, so I think right probably is enough right there. I think probably to, to stop summary right there. Just Yeah, no, I agree. Like I agree. And then the from there of it is. It is. It is wild. There are a lot of wild, crazy moments. It's absolutely hysterical. Oh. You, it will not it will not disappoint. It is so funny. Mm-hmm. And I hate to say it like this, but like it is one hundred percent for all audiences. Right. You know what I mean? Let's, this what, is not yeah. something that you're going to feel awkward as no weird, you know what I mean as as a non-black person watching right. this movie. It is it funny is funny. Right. You know? Right. Like it's not racially exclusive. No, like I mean it's very much like it if it definitely white, touches on issues if, right. but if it's you was a white, if you were a white person and you feel offended by this, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, but you need to get your head out of your ass because it's yeah. like you know yeah. part of it is it's not this the joke isn't for you. Right. But if you can't right. laugh at yourself, then you have no business watching this movie. That's a, that's precisely it, 100 percent Like that's and that's again, like funny is funny. Like this was hilarious. Yeah. The more that you are open and realize that there's a reason that there's these things are funny, the, the better we will be as a society. Yeah. Let's just say that. And each character has like shines on their own, has their own like moment um, with the bad guy and stuff. And it's every character mwah, just shines in this. And it's very, it's very much an ensemble piece. There were moments like even though each character is very different there were a couple moments where I was like leaning over to Ray, like this was well directed. Like there were, there was one moment. There's where, different references to other stuff. Yeah. Where like, there's a white, there's a, a Ranger white, haha, who is white <laughs> and comes in and like, you know, he interacts with them a couple times throughout the movie. Um, and they're like picking, they're doing something all together at the same time as one, like glom- yeah. it's just, it's so funny. And like, there's, you'll definitely you can definitely tell the horror references they have like there's definitely yeah. like, a lot of scooby-doo-esque like yeah like, yeah lur- a, lot like, of lurking. a lot of halloween like scream and and stuff yeah. a lot of west craven influence you can yeah see the pedigree there to get where we're at um yeah anything else that you would well, let's because let's go to something we didn't like and then we'll end with something we we liked so something okay. maybe you didn't like as much 
I can't think of anything. I have honestly. One. Okay, okay. It was the so um one character Clifton has he affects this like face thing like it's like, yeah it's like a, he does this with his mouth or something to talk kind of funny and it was it annoying. did bother me after a while yeah when i was like are we making fun of somebody i don't want to make fun of somebody like that's one of the things i was like i don't really know if i like that um but two is like I, it just was annoying after a while like, it was but, annoying like after fortunately a while. his 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 like accent or his like speaking voice wasn't affected too much by it like if it had been like a little nicky sort of like fucking you know because uh, adam sandler has that same thing in little nicky um i would have yeah, been yeah fucking furious but it's not annoying but it's a little annoying it's just a smidgen where i was kind of like mm, i didn't like it it's a choice and it's like it's not a choice so you're I gonna made. do that so you're gonna do that through the whole movie okay <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're gonna do and no one was like that's, maybe not maybe that's not, what you went with all right <laughs> like hey mama maybe not maybe not today maybe right, not. Right. Let's, let's, let's just go pick it take it back to the trailer think about it think about it and be like do i want to do this the whole movie right but he's right. fantastic otherwise but it's just that that was like a choice i don't know if i would have made but yeah um other than that like that was the only thing that kind of twerked me i honestly can't think of anything i want to go watch this again i know like, like I, I can't yeah um <sighs> I can't wait I until, was, until it comes out for streaming and I can watch it again. It was just it was just a good time. The other thing I didn't, I was like, I'm still a little confused. I get it, but I was still a little confused as to the uh, villain's reasoning, modus operandi in this one. I got it, but I didn't get it. Like, I think also it could be because of I'm not like it's it's not something it was not the the culture and society i was raised in hmm. we can take this offline because it will we would spoil i it. was gonna say we'll talk about it offline because i got it and i don't get anything <laughs> i mean i got parts of it okay okay i got parts of it but we could take that offline because it would spoil stuff so um yeah. And I'm not meaning that I'm not part of the you know culture and society in a derogatory sense. It's just like like um I think I brought it up before with like um oh um 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 in the heights like I was not born I was not raised in New York so it's hard for me to have that same like sort of um uh sense of place that that others have with um in the heights because that was not how I grew up. So right. I didn't have the little bodega on the store and that sort of thing that I could go, you know, shop at every morning. So mm. that's not how I, I was nothing. There's nothing against that. Just, we it grew was up in, in rural, rural, rural white Ohio. Yeah. So, um, certain things I'm, I, are being, I mean, I'm now aware of that. I'm like, man, I wish I had known more about that. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. I would have been more well-rounded person. Anyhow. Um, so bottom bun things that we did let's end on a high note what's something else that you liked about it oh my gosh um the casting the direction the soundtrack like the the acting (laughs) everybody the delivery of all the jokes were just like you know it's just pros like it was good and that it doesn't go the way you think it's gonna go. What no. I definitely guessed who it was. Cause I think I even turned to you and go, I know it's rated I know R, it's huh? Good. Huh? I was just looking to see what it was rated, and it was rated oh. R. Yeah, with the F words. But it and- didn't yeah, probably a lot of F words and, yeah. and racial epithets and stuff. Um and I wanna say I think that the suspense and the like i said the story is not going to go the way you think it's going to go and i really like that i liked yeah i should say like you know you'll figure out who the villain is pretty quickly um but you will not understand their i mean you will uh see how they get there it's very crafty and i liked it yeah all right let's do a rate we'll let's do would you recommend this obviously we absolutely both yeah. absolutely i would recommend recommend this to anybody it's uh, like and it's not like as we'll go over in the ratings it wasn't that violent Mm-mm. to be honest it wasn't that i mean it was a horror comedy right and it right. so it it wasn't that gory um it was just like you said thriller suspense and um you know kind of catch you on your feet but also made you laugh it was good yeah no i would actually recommend seeing it in the theater if you can still see it in the theater see it in the theater it's actually a oh good, yeah see it in a the theater group. with a bunch of people yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's a good group watch. It's- 
because we all kind of like fed on each other it was really it was it was cool yeah um all right so do our let's do our ratings uh blood and gore um two yeah i was saying gonna say the same thing too it wasn't it honestly wasn't much i mean there was some blood you know and there was some like bloodiest yeah at the very beginning yep i think every everyone else is like it, off screen. there wasn't yeah. it, off screen or there wasn't that much blood you know what i mean right so it really wasn't um you know and the weapon of choice was a crossbow so it wasn't like a knife or anything like that you know it wasn't probably the grossest part bad. was actually them pulling that out yeah the, the yeah out. yeah <laughs> um spooky scary see two it had some decent tension yeah yeah same too yeah i would say two as well um yeah it kept you on your feet and it kept you on the edge of your seat enough to be interested and it didn't back down like it didn't yeah. slow down no which you know that and, that, and that's good direction too you know the pacing was really good it till the end till like literally last scene yeah yep and then, and then you got to kind of huh, relax and laugh yeah <laughs> and then we got some laughs yeah um spoiler <laughs> not spoiler just in case the movie theater teases you there is no scene at the very end after credits we're there is no waiting. after credits we were yeah. all waiting for because the we're theater was still stinger. dark no stingers yeah <laughs> like we a bunch like of us were still out. waiting yeah right we, we're induct them all into the avengers like what the fuck yeah and we're like oh okay never mind awkward no i guess like, we <laughs> no gotta after walk away scene. though yeah <laughs> um <laughs> sex and nudity uh, there was one sex scene that was off screen just some making out that would that's all that really out. happened and I no mean, nudity no i'm gonna say one i guess one yeah because there was a comment about the smell of it <laughs> oh my god yes yes there was yes there was so funny like everybody oh. knows instantly that these characters had sex like everybody knows <laughs> nobody's stupid and they're all close friends too so it's yeah. like the it um like... <laughs> um um what's the last one um uh fun, fun and, and entertainment how can i forget the yeah. best one four yeah. for me i had a great time i want to say four yeah 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 i would have liked a little bit more gore i think it'd been kind of fun to have more yeah stick, little... stick, but i like gore so yeah i like blood but other than that i had a fucking blast yeah it was baller i had a baller. great time all right well um we have a sh- show episode coming up soon we don't know when yes we're gonna we do it. We're gonna <laughs> we do. don't know it's, when <laughs> yeah, it's insidious month guys yeah. Ooh. yeah that's coming so we're gonna watch insidious <laughs> one and two um i have a review of brooklyn 45 that's up yep which is another recommend um and that's it for right now but yeah um I'm please sh- please like and subscribe subscribe if like you like subscribe. it <laughs> i don't know why i've been forgetting to say that all this all yeah. this time but like it really does help us gauge what we're doing mm-hmm. is when we get feedback so yeah. even if you say fuck you you guys suck it's still feedback that constructive really... criticism i can't i mean please myself. don't do that but... yeah. yeah i can't unfuck myself right right i mean <laughs> i've tried we just want to know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong and like yeah. you know be polite <laughs> like yeah if you're like you two are you know like have, like whatever you know we're we're misguided on something let us know i mean we're not obviously like we don't know all of the history of horror so it's not like, no. it's like we're experts at this this, this is something we like so it's right. for funsies guys we have jobs anyhow <laughs> and this isn't it <laughs> this is not it this is not it um all right my friends keep it spooky Ooh.